retired Marine is walking across the country to show struggling military members they're not alone in their difficult journey. Uh, tonight, his trip is taking him right through the tri state. WLWT News 5's Christy Davis shows us how he's going the distance for fallen heroes. Walking, it's as simple as putting one foot in front of the other. But one Marine Corps vet is taking those steps to make sure other soldiers can move forward. It's clearly not a leisurely stroll. Starting just north of Seattle, Washington, Sergeant Chuck Lewis has walked 2,500 miles in four months. We caught up with him today in Montgomery. Lewis is heading across country to raise money and awareness for servicemen and women who may have lost their own direction. They've been so well trained and they're so well indoctrinated into a military lifestyle. Um, they, they wonder where they're supposed to go. In some cases, it's costing them their lives. They come home, uh, life's not what it was in the military, and they're taking their own life. According to the Department of Defense, since 2005, more soldiers have died from suicide than in combat. And that's not counting suicides among those who've left the service, like the Marine in Lewis's hometown. He uh, did one tour in Afghanistan, separated on 3 June, arrived home on 4 June. And we buried him on 30 June. He took his own life. He left behind a wife and a one year old daughter. Lewis will end his journey at the Vietnam Veterans Wall in Washington, D.C. The money raised will go to programs aiding returning troops. And any money donated locally will stay local. You can find out how to donate on our website, WLWT.com. This was uh, from a wife of a husband that was killed in Afghanistan last December. Along the way, Lewis's makeshift memorial has grown, and so has his commitment to honoring the sacrifices of those who fight for us. And, uh, when somebody dies on the combat field, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, there's no reset like there is in many of the games that you see today. 